Hi guys, welcome to my shop. I have only ran a few projects since completing my latest DIY CNC build and most of those have been accessories for my CNC. The latest is this two drawer cabinet that sits under the corner of my CNC. The top drawer has my router bit tray to help me keep my bits organized and the bottom drawer holds my XY0 fence, my dogs, and assorted clamps. Since today is the 4th of July, and that's kind of a big deal to us Americans, I thought I would run a project today that has a little patriotic flair. I went to 3dwave.us and purchased this 3D STL file that I'm running here. Now no one knows better than me that it's really boring to watch a CNC router running one of these long car programs, so I'll just show some brief clips and share some of the toolpath details for some of you CNC nerds. For the roughing toolpath, I'm using a quarter inch downtown genie bit from Cadence Manufacturing and Design. The spindle speed is 18,000 RPM. The feed rate is 150 inches per minute with a plunge of 60 inches per minute and a depth of cut of 1 8 inch or 0.125. The total cycle time was a little over 36 minutes. For the finishing pass, I used an Amana 1 8 inch tapered ball nose bit with the 1 16th inch radius tip, running at a feed rate of 150 inches per minute, a plunge rate of 50 inches per minute, the spindle speed was 18,000 RPM, and I kept the step over very small at 0.0037. That made the total cycle time just over 4 hours and 48 minutes. And in case you're interested, the Amana tool number is 46286. And finally, for the profile tool path, I'm using a 1 quarter inch extended reach upcut bit from Cadence Manufacturing and Design. The spindle speed is 13,000 RPM, feed rate is 80 inches per minute, and a plunge rate of 50 inches per minute. The cycle time for the profile tool path was about 8 minutes. The carve came out very nice, but it looked a little plain, so I added some light torching followed by some spar urethane for the final look. And here it is. So to all my fellow proud Americans, I want to say Happy Independence Day. And to all my friends in England, let me just say, eh, I'm sorry you have to work today, guys. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.